I felt there were eyes just burning in the back of my head. A feeling of darkness and depression. She's very, very agitated. I felt there were eyes just burning He's in the back of my head. He's banging his fist on the table. A feeling of darkness Screaming and depression. in pain. She's very, very oh agitated. God, He's banging disturbed. his fist on the table. What was that? This week, the rescue mediums are investigating this home in the affluent Toronto community of Cabbage Town, where a downtown couple has been overtaken by an otherworldly presence. I always feel nervous and kind of frightened. There are times when I just, you know, would like to speak to the spirit themselves and say, what do you want? Everyone says there's a, it's a female. It feels very sad. I think it's a very sad person. <laughs> I've woken up in the middle of the night and someone snapped me out of my sleep. It was just, just like a noise, like just boom. Eager to help the residents, the rescue mediums are pulled to investigate. Do you know, I feel as though I'm in one of those old carriages. Where's the horse though? <laughs> <laughs> Jackie and Allison are renowned psychic mediums who spend their days and nights showing wayward spirits into the light. When I was painting this first, archway over in the hallway, I felt there were eyes just burning in the back of my head. Sharon's the one that really has had the, um, the oh. voice experiences. I've owned the house for um, three years. I would say what I hear most often is talking. Sometimes some scratching noises. The rescue mediums have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Well, I don't know where we're going today, Al. <laughs> Even the name of the community has been kept secret until now. Although days earlier, they had some disturbing premonitions. Sensing that someone is with you, but there's nobody there. A feeling of darkness and depression. Yes. I generally feel very uncomfortable in here. There's a lot of just depression. It, it just circulates in this room. 